What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and uh, today we're looking at Marsh Shadow Dunk. Now, if you were at Four Way Regionals and on Friday you saw me playing, you would actually see me playing this deck. Um, we actually consider this deck a lot uh, for regionals because it has answers to almost every good deck in the format, um, like Trevenant, um, Night March, Dark Rye. All that kind of good stuff, we had answers for it. Um, the only problem is, we couldn't figure out how to beat Garboder decks and how to beat Gardevoir decks. And we expected a bunch of Gar Garbodor, which is why we ended up not playing this deck. Um, but yeah, let's go over this deck and see what's it about. It's not a meme. This was something real that we were actually considering if you watched a Fort Wayne uh, discussion video. And um, we, I know we talked about Marshadow a lot, and it's probably the last time we covered Marshadow since we've played it so much already. But Marshadow, it has the ability Shadow Hunt. Uh, you can use any Pokemon, you, any basic Pokemon in your discard pile, but you need the necessary energies. So this, with this deck, you have a couple of options. Um, so if you're going to turn one, usually you can't attack, right? But with the Latios EX, you actually can attack. Actually, I just noticed I should probably put my monitor on this side. That should fix everything. All right, so Latios EX, it has the attack fast rate, which if you go first, you can use the attack on your first turn. So you can fast rate for 40, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it can actually start hitting some good numbers because we'll play Hypnotoxic Laser. So you do two more damage. You, uh, you poison your opponent and uh, flip a coin if it has their sleep. Okay, so you can do some poison damage. You got Burbank CD Gem, so you do two more damage counters, all right? So now you're doing uh, three, four, five, six, and three Survivors. Um, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so yeah, you can start seeing, oh, three, uh, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think I'm doing the math wrong somewhere. So you punch for 30, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, and then yeah, 10, 11, 12, yeah, so 120 is how much you could do, because Choice Band does, uh, 30 more damage. You, basically, you're punching for 60 with the Choice Band and everything like that, times 2 is 120, um, if you're here for Dark Rise, you can take a knock us that way, uh, this is Eladios, we're talking about Eladios right now, so fast rate for 40, <laughs> sorry guys, uh, I was, I was doing, uh, some Quake and Punch math in my head, we're not talking about Quake and Punch right now, we're talking about fast rate, uh, so fast rate for 40, plus laser 10, Plus Verbank, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You can do 130 damage, turn 1, uh, with a fast raid. Uh, basically, you can just knock out a bunch of basic Pokemon. We know there's a ton of the game right now that have low HP. They can easily be knocked out with a fast raid, and that's why we had it in the deck. Um, it's a really good attack. You can also, like, knock out Pokemon that are weak to fighting, like Dark Eyes, and uh, that's kind of what we want to do turn 1. But outside of turn one, what we're really doing is going for that Quake of Punch. Uh, Quake of Punch does 30, and your opponent can't play any item cards. Uh, this combined with lasers, a verbix, a choice bands, you can do up to 90 damage, as you saw right there, me trying to explain it. I think up to 120. Um, yeah, because 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 120. Then, of course, weakness could bring it up to 180, which could knock out dark Pokemon if you have all three Sephipers down. And that's kind of what we want to do today. Depending on turn one, you go for the Latios. And then you start Quake of Punching. But then there's other stuff in the deck as too. If, oh, if you don't know, Survivor has that more poison ability. You do one more damage counter. Uh, Verbing, put two more damage counter. So it's really cool to like combine these cards that you really don't see uh, played too much anymore. But let's see some other stuff. Of course, Shaman helps set up. And uh, one techie card we have in here is the Shaman Aroma of Gratitude one. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may heal 20 damage from each of your bench basic Pokemon, which kind of counters Terminant, uh, making it where they only do 10 damage to you. But you do have to watch out for Silent Lab. That is a bad card for you. And um, the way you kind of beat Trevenant is you can, like, Sky Return with Shamans. You just keep Sky Return and Lupin. Or just use Shadow Hunt Sky Return to do it that way as well, uh, which is pretty cool. You do have to watch out, though. Marshadow is weak to Psychic, so if they Tree Slam you with the Choice Band, they can knock you out. Um, we have Necrozma. Necrozma is really good because when you start Quake and Punching them, they're going to eventually start retreating. And then you can just Black Ray GX and just knock out three in one turn, which is really strong. Uh, one Lele. And then one card, there was a billion people who would pick up my discard pile and be like, is that a real Gengar? Is that a Gengar? And I'm like, yes, that is a Gengar in my deck. Please don't touch my Gengar. He is very valuable. He's probably one of my favorite cards in this deck. Uh, Gengar has that Dark Corridor attack. It does 60, and your opponent's Pokemon is now poisoned. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. All right, so you might be thinking, why is this card good? Well, at any moment, you can do 90 damage, thanks to Choice Band, um, plus Poison 10, 
Level 12, 13, 14, 15, you can do 150 out of nowhere. And if you're in the Quake and Punch War against another Scythe Stone, you can, you can just randomly attach a, a Psychic Energy and just take a knock out of nowhere, which is really, really strong. Uh, and that's why we decided to play the Gengar in the deck. Also, you kind of, like, get some Night Attacks off if they retreat and you don't, and, like, you don't have the necessary energy to do Black Trade GX. You just Night Attack for those three damage counters and take a knock out that way. So, that's going to be all the Pokemon we play. It's a very interesting deck, and um, I'm not going to spend too much time on everything else. Just know Compressor, you know, discard cards on your deck, computer search, consistency. Ultra Ball is really good. VS Seeker is really good. Ace Roll is like MVP because since you're punching them, they can barely hit your, your Marsh Shadows. And then you Ace Roll them back in your hand. One course because you have a bunch of Pokemon on your, discard, a bunch of Pokemon on your bench. Uh, Guzma, Lysander, Karen. Um, it's going to help beat Night March. You get Karen plus a Quick Punch to basically win the game. You can do this over and over again. Really, really strong uh, attacks. Uh, three in, four Juniper. We're playing the four Juniper because we're trying to dig to try to get that turn one attack off. Uh, two Choice Band, two Floodstone, two Focus Sash, which makes it where your Mars Shadow does not get knocked out if they're full HP. And instead, they're left with 10, and this card gets discarded. And the cool thing about this, if they try to like Sky Return you or like try to pop your Focus Sash without, uh, in, like if they pop your Focus Sash but don't do it like a ton of damage, like to, to hit it all the way off. Um, you can just ace roll the focus ash back in your hand, which is really cool. And of course, four DC and four psychic energy, so you can activate like the Gengar's attacks. Um, maybe go for Topic Cure if you want to go that way. Maybe go for Venomous Fang. Um, main reason is because of Fast Raid and the psychic energy, so that's why we're playing it. But guys, there we go. There's the Marsh Shadow Donk deck. Hopefully, I explain it fairly well. It's kind of confusing. Um, but just know that you're trying to quick a punch, and if it's turn one, you can fast rate to take knockouts out of nowhere, which is pretty cool. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, so putting his Nico stats, uh, playing some kind of water fighting deck, so I'm not 100% sure what this is, but maybe we'll go first. Oh, I lost quick up, unfortunately. Alright, because our whole point is to go first, try to get that donk, and just win automatically. But we'll see. We'll get some quick punches in here and go that route, and we do have a pretty good turn one already. We got Ultra Ball, get discarded Size Toad in, via Seeker for the end. I uh, really want to save those Verbeek City Gems. Alright, so we're going to see what do they start here. And it is an Oricorio. Alright, so that does not really tell me what they are playing. It could be anything. So we've seen Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard an Octillery and a Fairy Drop. Okay, so some kind of Fairy deck, obviously. Maybe uh, <coughs> Mega Gardevoir. There's a Lele, okay. And Lele might see a Bridget just to search for some more Pokemon. Maybe get three out in the field. And we'll see what they're playing here. So let's see what does this Lele get him. And it is a Bridget. All right, so we'll see the Bridget come down. I'm going to search for three Pokemon. So let's see what does that Bridget get for our opponent. Now, unfortunately, we can only really punch his Oracory for 30, and it is a Gardevoir deck. Oh, no. Uh, this is actually a really bad matchup for us. Uh, all right, so we get a laser. Okay, so I'm going to Ultra Ball. <clears throat> discard the N and the Size Toad. Let's see here. We can get a Shaman. Maybe it's a Viper. Uh, three, six, seven. If we get three, six, seven, he actually can't even knock out the Oracorio with a laser, unfortunately. All right, so I think what I'm going to grab is a Shaman, just so we can try to set up... Find a DC, get that Quake of Punch off, and try to slow down this Gardevoir deck. So we'll play the laser, and let's see what does this laser get us. Okay, and it looks like it was a Tails. We'll play Shaman. Got to set it for four new cards. Alrighty, and let's see what do we find. There's another Shaman, Flowstone, and an Ultra Ball. So play the Compressor. And with the Compressor, we're going to discard some good cards. Like we, we kind of need the Colors in there. Um, I'm going to put Juniper in there. And I think we'll put Necrozma. Uh, oh, our Gengar's prized. It's actually really bad. We really rely a lot on that Gengar. All right, so I think I'm going to discard a Seismitoad. All right, so put those three to discard pile. We'll put a Flustone on the Shaman. And then I'm going to set up for another three cards. Just trying to find a DCE to put on this Marshadow to get that Quake of Punch off. And there it is. There's the DCE and another Marshadow as well. So put a DC on this guy. I'm going to put down a Marshadow. And then right now, I'm just going to Quake of Punch. Uh, Quake of Punch is going to do 60. And if the Oracle... Oh, we actually, it's Resistance. I forgot about Resistance. Oh, boy. All right. So if we had a Viper down, we could actually take a Knockout. So there's an Octillery come down. Going to be Abyssal Hand for two, okay? Sorry, all those new notifications are popping up. I had to re-download PHCGO. It was freezing up on me. Um, 
man, I forgot about resistance. Yeah, we should have maybe got us a Viper out. If we would have gotten a Viper, it would have done 10 more damage, bringing down a 40. The next turn come back into us, it would be knocked out. They receive a Fear Energy, go into the routes, and we see a Bustle for three cards. But remember, he can't play any item cards like Red Candy, Ultra Ball, Love Ball, anything like that. All right, so see what does he find here? Does he find a Curlia? Or is this deck based around a lot of rare candy stuff? So he discards a Gardevoir, fantastic for us. Um, and there's a Curly come down. Now, the scary thing about this deck, like I said, is he can easily knock us out. Oh boy. Alright, so in our turn we find a Psychic Energy. I'm going to put that Psychic Energy on the bench, uh, Marshadow, and then we'll have VS Seeker for a course to get a new hand. I really don't want to play the Juniper, I kind of want to save it, I just want to color, get a bunch of new cards, and let's see what do we find here, I'm looking for, okay, it's not what I was looking for, alright, so, we'll go for a Quake Punch, it'll take a knockout here, what I was looking for was a uh, Focus Sash, so that way it hits us with a Guard of War, we actually don't get knocked out immediately, and there's a Tapu Lele, now Tapu Lele, really not going to help us too much, and here comes his own Tapu Lele, uh, right now Tapu Lele would not knock us out, only just 20, 40, 60, 80, not enough to do really too much right now. And there is the energy drive for 80 damage. Alright, so on our turn. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put down Tapu Lele. Oh, let's play laser first. Let's see what the laser gets us. Alright, so play the laser. It's Tails, unfortunately. Alright, so I think I am going to grab the Lele. We're going to use the Lele. And with this, I'm going to grab an Acerola. Um, <laughs> I know we don't have any more energies in our hand. Or any more supporter cards in hand, but I really need to save, save our Marshadow for being knocked out. So I'm gonna use Ace Rilla, pick up the Marshadow, put it back in our hand, uh, put the Shaman in the active spot, put the Marshadow back down, put a DC on it, put a Choice Ban, retreat into the Marshadow. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, so retreat to the Marshadow, and we will Quake a Punch for six, seven, eight, nine, and then uh, ten uh, for ninety all together. All right, so come back in my turn. He will, we will knock him out, so that's fantastic. Uh, put maybe another Psychic Energy on the Marshadow. Uh, so we will take a knock on this Lele. We just gotta hope he can't find another Gardevoir. His, uh, he, he already discarded one. He probably plays two more, most likely. Uh, there's a Fade Energy going to be active. Energy Drive uh, would not knock us out. We're still living here, guys. Alright, so there we go. And on to our turn. Well, we're just... Oh, and then my opponent conceded in the game. Uh, I realize probably can't win that. And that was pretty lucky of us. I imagine he probably doesn't play... Uh, a lot of ways to get a guard of wars. His hand is pretty full. Uh, we were going to take a knockout. Let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. Um, he did play four guard of wars, so ooh, yeah. Uh, we did have that Gengar prize. He only played two rare candy, uh, but no DNC. Looks like he's going for the Vulpix drop, but no DNC, but two rare candy. Very interesting for sure. Uh, but if a four Curlia, I imagine his hand was full of item cards. Really not that very useful. Only oh no, he plays three rare candy. All right, there's the third third rare candy. Uh, two Fairy Garden as well. Um, so I don't know if he misplayed the last turn, uh, but either way, you kind of see how you can beat these Evolution decks. But once a Guardi sets up, it is very hard to take down. Who knows what a next card would have been if it would have been the Gengar? Um, we might have been okay. I don't know how that really works out. Haven't really tested it. Um, but yeah, we'll see another game with the deck here in a second, and uh, we'll see if we take another victory. With the Marsh out of Donk deck. And just to general me, if they're an evolution deck, you just punch them. They can't really evolve. They can't do too much. And you just win that way. So, we'll see what happens in the next game. Alright, guys. Alright, so we're against Vicky. 1, 2, 3, Q, W, E. Playing all lightning deck. Oh, baby. This is not going to be good for our opponents. I mean, lightning. I mean, they, they could play rough seas. But lightning is weak to fighting. So, yeah, it's not usually good for them. So we lost coin flip. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine. I want to try to get the turn one donk. Oh my goodness. So my opponent is going to go first. And it's it's interesting that it's all just dark. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll start double Viper. <clears throat> we got Juniper. We'll discard a side stone. We're discarding a focus ash, which is kind of unfortunate. But it's whatever. So we'll put down a sub Viper. We'll press done. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Maybe we find a float stone. DCE, uh, Mars Shadow, and let's see what cards Mahona has here. So, a Tynamo and a Zacrom. Alright, so it looks like it's an Eels deck. So, Max Elixir. Um, it's really not going to matter. Uh, they have this weakness called Fighting. I mean, we can't really knock out a Zacrom because we don't play Muscle Band. The max we could do it to is 90. So, maybe we'll see an interesting matchup here. Um, yeah, so we see Ultra Ball discarding an Eel and a Skyla. Okay. 
Um, not sure what they're gonna grab here. Tapu Coco, okay, Tapu Coco. I think this one has resistance. Yeah, it has. Oh no, it's weak. It's weak. What am I talking about? It's, it's weak. All right, but once again, they're two non EXs, so we really can't punch them for knockouts. And the Tynamo come down, we see a weakness policy. Going to Tynamo. Weakness policy. All right, so this is a psychic energy. So I'm going to play a laser. And I'm just going to. It's already. Uh, it's almost knocked out already. That's good. So we'll play Juniper with we'll discard our hand on seven of cards. I'm looking for. Okay, that's. We got the Verbank. So we get a guaranteed knockout. We get an Ultra Ball. We can discard Ultra Ball at Juniper to grab a Marsh Shadow. Okay. We grab Marsh Shadow. We'll put that guy down and we will shame him for four new cards. Looking for a, a DC and a Float Stone. Well, we find one of the two. So we'll put down a Marsh Shadow. We'll put a DC on the Marsh Shadow. And we'll pass for the knockout, doing 50 damage to that Dynamo. Oh my goodness. All right, so it's like a knockout there. There's another DC go in our hand, which is fantastic. And here comes a Tapu Coco. All right. Um, now, like I said, we really can't one-shot a Tapu Coco because it has 110 HP. And it's weak to fighting, but we don't play muscle bands or anything crazy like that. All right, so like you're going to Dynamo, actually. Um, maybe he wants to go for a Paralyzation play with a Thunder Wave. I don't know. Seems kind of interesting. Maybe he attaches to the wrong Pokemon. I don't know, really. I'm not my opponent, so I can't really say what's happening. Um, so is he a Via Sticker? Okay. Grabbing the Juniper or Skyla? I wonder which one they'll decide to go for. So this is Skyla going to their hand. Okay. Maybe looking for a Rough Seas. That could be a kind of annoying card. Getting our Verbank. Um, do we discard one? We have not discarded one, so that's okay. The Max Luxor, I mean, they committed the energy to Tynamo, and now they're playing Max Luxor. Okay. We see the energy going to Zekrom. I, it just kind of confuses me why he put the energy on the Tynamo. All right, so uh, what else does our opponent just pass onto our turn? Okay. So, we get your boy Guzma. Um, but Guzma, I, I think what I'm going to do right now is just Guzma up the Zekrom, send in our Marshadow. Uh, put a DC on this Marsh Shadow, and I'm just going to punch for 60. All right, now the, the kind of bad thing, he's, he could outrage us for 80, but then we just not... Oh, we actually need a laser. Mm. Yeah, we need a laser next turn actually pu to punch it for a knockout. So there's a Tapu Coco come down. He can... Oh, man, this is actually not weak at all. Uh, we'll put the energies to the Tapu Coco, switch into the active. Um, he does not take a knockout right now, unless he goes for a Tapu Thunder GX. Now the Tapu Coco hitting the field as well. Which is good for us. It gives us more energies to more co cards to draw with our chorus. Um, but does he have a lightning energy in his hand? And if he does, will he go for that Tapu Thunder GX? All right. So we see a Juniper discarding a Hex and a Tapu Coco. This is actually the bad cards. And there's a lightning energy going to the active. We'll probably see a Tapu Thunder here taking a knockout, uh, doing 5, 10, 50, 20, doing 200 damage to our Marsh Shadow. I think if my opponent, that is what I would do here. I'd go for the 200 damage, and they receive Tapu Thunder GX come down, do that 200 damage, take a knockout, and going down to four prize cards. So, we're sitting in the Marsh Shadow. On our turn, um, we get a fo uh, Focus Sash. I'm a Focus Sash. I mean, he can't take a knockout, so I'm just going to end right now. I really don't want to commit that Focus Sash to the Marsh Shadow. It doesn't really do anything. I'm looking for a Choice Ban, which we don't hit, unfortunately. Um... Summon Compressor, and with Compressor, I'm going to discard a Latios, a Gengar, and a Karazma. Actually, I'm going to skip the Gengar, the Latios, and go for Chorus. Okay. And right now, I'm just going to Quake a Punch for 30 damage. Now, what he can do here is go for Skyhawk Claws for 130, but then we could Tapu Lele or... Okay, so roll <laughs> uh, It's not the best thing, but it's not the worst thing either. Uh, because we can at least get two or three punches out of this Ace Rolla. What I'm really looking for is a laser. They would see a light and you're going to top of Coco. Okay. And they would see a Skyhawk Claws for 130. Now, this is what's going to kind of stink, is we're going to get, get punched for that. Uh, Shaman, really not going to do too much for us. So, play down the Tapu Lele. We'll use it. Yes. We will grab an Ace Okay, no, we want Ace Rolla. Looks like it's prized. All right, so grab a Karen. It doesn't really matter. Oh, things are getting bad real quick. Is Ace rolling a discard pile? It is not. All right, so via Seeker, 
for Colrus, getting nine new cards. And what we're looking for is a laser here. So let's see, what does this Colrus get us? I see a Marsh Shadow and I see a laser. So we'll put down the Marsh Shadow. We'll play a laser. Let's see here. It is head, so he will go to sleep. I'll commit a DC to the bench, Marsh Shadow, and we'll go for another Quake Punch. It will do three. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 80 damage overall, and it tells he is still asleep. Uh, unfortunately, he does not get knocked out. We are one survivor short of that Tapu Koko being knocked out. There is a Aether Paradise cons Conservation Area coming down, and we'll see a pass for our opponent. Uh, heads, he does wake up. On our turn, we get a laser. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use your boy Guzma. I'm going to bring up that bench Tapu Koko. And swing into it. Um, now I know he has the Ether Paradise coming up, but I think this is the better play. I'm gonna play the laser, uh, try to put it to sleep. Heads, all right, we're getting lucky on our coin flips right now, and we'll go for another. Actually, yeah, we'll go for Quake Punch here. Okay. <clears throat> Tells, all right, so we're good to go. I know Ether perfected it for being knocked out. Okay. All right, so another 30 damage coming out. Heads, it does wake up, but now it has 110 HP. Um, one thing that we could do right now is go for that. Uh, trying to no, I'm trying to think. Do I want to go for the Black Rage GX tech or not? I don't think I want to right now. I think what I'm gonna do is commit a DC on the active. Uh, yeah, DC on the active. And just Juniper, okay? Looking for a Choice Band here. Okay, so we find a Choice Band, put it in the active. Uh, still no Verbix to the gem, but at least we can Quake and Punch. Um, I really don't want to go for the uh, the Black Ray GX. I don't want to do it right now. Okay, so in our opponent's turn, we're going to draw a card. Um, It does not get knocked out via Poison and everything like that. Okay? <sighs> All right, so let's think about this. There's a Guzma. Gonna bring up our Shaman. Gonna send his Tapu Koko, okay? Oh, man. All right, so Tapu Koko come down. We see his Skyhawk Claws. Doing 260. Going down to two prize cards. We'll send our Survivor up, okay? Hmm. <laughs> All right, there's a computer search, okay? Now we could end two and go for Sky Claws or go for a Black Ray GX right now. Or do not got both type of cocos. We can license of the Tynamo. I mean, actually, we can't knock out anything with the bench. All right, so I'm just going to computer search. I think I'm going to go for this play right now. I think I'm going to computer search, discard the, uh, the Lysander and the Ultra Ball. Okay. I'm going to grab nothing. Oh, we have to grab something. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> we'll grab a very exceeded gem. Okay. We'll put down a very exceeded gem. We'll put down a Viper. We will Battle Compressor. Discarding the Shaman Eladios. We have no laser left either. I'm just going to discard these two. And then I'm going to end uh, putting our opponent down to two and just seeing what will happen here. So we'll end. Get a, okay, all right, there we go. Um, because what we can do next turn is go for that Gingar Dark Corridor, take a knock out whoever, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna, uh, let's use Compressor one more time. I don't think there's anything in our deck really we care about. I'm going to discard this and a Choice Band. We're going to retreat into the Marsh Shadow and go for a Black Ray GX. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll use a Black Ray GX. Take a knock out, okay. All right, go down to four prize cards. One, two. <clears throat> There's a Verbank, a laser. Oh, the laser will help us take a knockout on whoever we want to. There's Topic Koga coming up. We'll take two more prize cards. There's a Size Toad and a Acerola. All right. Does our opponent have a way to get the Marsh Shadow out of the bench spot? Uh, does he have a way to take a knockout of the active? Oh, boy. There's a Lightning. You're going to the active. But does he have anything else at all? Oh, man. 
if he does it, and there's a victory, oh no, I wanted to use Gengar's attack, oh man, we could have swung with Gengar, and taken a knockout on that Tapu Koko, and there we go, Black Ray GX, coming to clutch there, and punishing those Tapu Koko GXs, which is really nice, uh, he already had one the discard pile, I highly doubt he played another one, and there we go, guys, uh, there's the Marshadow Toolbox, Quaker Punch, Black Ray GX kind of deck, but you know, I'm gonna try to get a game with Eladios and see if we could donk somebody. So we're gonna see another game with the deck, and I'm just trying to take a game where we take a uh, take a knockout with the Eladios donk, because that's where we really want to came here to see, right? We want to see a Eladios donk. All right, guys, we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, so bring us Hockett. Okay, can get a donk here. Can we go first, Pokemon? Come on, Pokemon. Let me go first. We lost the coin flip again. No. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. We'll keep playing though. We'll, we'll get this. I think it's a dark deck. Okay. There's Marshado. Okay. It's actually a really good hand. Got a really good turn one right now. As long as he doesn't get us here. Gets us would be terrible. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're fine. We, we can Shaman for a bunch of cards. We got a Furbing. Got a DCE. Got a Choice Band. We got one start a Dark Rye. Three Survivors. Arms itching. We'll press done. Let's let's see what happens, guys. All right. Show me the meaning of getting a knockout. All right. Just draw pass. There's a dark right. That's what we want to see there. We want to see dark right start <gasps> for my opponent. Sorry, hiccup there. Hiccup. It's like a hiccup burp kind of thing. Sorry. I apologize. Apologize there. All right. But we'll see what my opponent does here. Um, does he get turbo hex? Maybe it gets us. Is this dark energy active? Ultra Ball, no, he's gonna grab a Hoopa. <sighs> Discard the chorus and an in. Oh boy, if he, he should play that in. Our hand is really good right now. If only he knew. So there's a Shaman. No, no Hoopa coming out. No Hoopa, boys. We're gonna see a Shaman, but we can't get a Donk now. Man, no, no Latios Donk. Alright, so Shaman's setting up for three. Uh, just don't in us. Another Dark Eye. EX in the field. Okay. Dark Explorers and a pass onto our turn. Focus Ash. Do not care about that Focus Ash at all. So we're Ultra Ball. Discard a Focus Ash and the Psychic Energy. Grab a good old shame and come on down. Just some good old boys. Oh, Alright, three Survipers in there. We are we're gonna knock out this turn, guys. What a discard. Okay. Uh DCE Choice Fan. Garbic City Gem, Shaman for five, show me the money, show me Compressor, some uh, some Zephypers, there's a Laser, a Tapu, okay, there's a Seismitoad, oh man, we'll play the Laser, okay, Heads, he goes Night Knight, we'll put a Floatstone on this guy, and we'll, we'll just go for it, we'll just guarantee the Quake Punch this turn, yes, grab a Shaman, or not Shaman, a Sycamore, and a Juniper, I mean, if we hit three Survivors here, we take a knockout. We just one-shot this Darkrai. So a Juniper discarded the DC, but that's fine. And we hit three Compressors. All right, so Compressor, discard Shaman, Latios, Gingar. Don't need those in the deck. We'll Compressor again. Discarding Necrozma. Uh, N and Lysander. And then we'll play another Compressor. Um, discard Karen. I think just Karen. Everything else seems pretty useful. So, yep, there we go. And we'll go for a Quake and Punch for 90 damage. All right. I mean, 150. Sorry. Forgot about weakness. Uh, and Heads, it does wake up. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, but on to our opponent's turn, what can they really do here? We just Quake and Punch for 150 damage. The Dark Ray, uh, Dark Energy not active. If he punches here, that Dark Ray is getting knocked out. And it's going to get knocked out through Poison. And he is going to go for Dark Pulse for 60. That Dark Ray is now, uh, he is not here anymore. He is in the discard pile. We take two price cards, and what can our opponent really do? There's a Guzma and a Psychic Energy going through our hand. Shaman Cup, and on to our turn. Well, we'll put down the Marsh Shadow. We'll put a DC on it. We'll play a Hypno Toxic Laser. Actually, we probably should just Guzma brought up the Dark Ray. Uh, but Shaman does go Night Night. I'll punch it for a 40, 70. Um, unfortunately, we should have probably dug for a Viper. Um, if it stays, if it stays in the Axe spot, we could have knocked it out next turn. But that's fine. I think we're, st we're still fine here. Like, we're 100% fine. Um, my plan next turn is actually Guzma, bring up the Dark Eye. I'll bring it over my Shadow, and then use a Black Ray GX. Uh, so Dark Eye, Dark Eye. Poison damage 30. 
And we're about to use your boy Guzma. Uh, come on, Guzma. Let's bring up that Darkrai. We'll set up our Shaman. <laughs> retreat back into it. And next turn, we can Black Ray GX for the knockout. So let's go for that good old Quake Punch for 120 damage. Putting that pressure on the Darkrai. Onto our opponent's turn. What can they do? I don't know. We have the Psychic Energy in our hand. We can guarantee the Black Ray GX. Taking four prize cards and winning the game next turn. If our opponent doesn't find anything... He is in big, big trouble here. Oh boy, so let's see what is going to happen. What does our opponent have in their hand? If they don't have an in, um, they're in trouble. <laughs> They've already played one in. Most Dark Ray lists only played the one. There's a Dark Ray to the active. And a second one. All right, so what does he... Oh, he discards like a Dark Patch, Laser. You can see his hand is just full of item cards that he cannot play because of that Quake Punch, which is why this deck is so good against this heavy Dark Ray deck. He's going to treat the Shaman, but that is not going to save him. We're going to take two win conditions here. We'll put a Psychic Energy. We'll go for that Black Ray GX. Look how many attacks we have. But we'll go for that Black Ray GX. Uh, taking the knockout. Do 130, 100. And there we go, guys. Taking the victory against the Dark Ray deck. It's a pretty easy matchup. As long as they don't play Ranger and Hex Maniac. Um, the only thing you're really scared of is a Hex Maniac chain. And that could pretty much ruin your day. But there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know we did see a lot of stunk, But, I mean, at least we saw us punish Dark Ray, which is the point of this deck. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Go check out Marshadow Donk. Go play it and see what's fun. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, we didn't get that Latios turn one donk, but it still is really cool if you can get that fast rate donk off. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.